everyone and welcome to the channel and today's video is going to be about how we can set up a flask environment in visual studio code and how we can run a basic application and uh, so what is flask flask is just a basic uh, flask is essentially just a python web application framework that you can use to create websites and apis so let's get right into the tutorial so before starting you all will need to make sure that you all have python installed on your machine and uh, you all can go ahead to the official uh, python uh, website and download the latest version and uh, after and uh, select the os that you have and perform the installation and after you've performed the installation to check if you've successfully installed python onto your machine you all can go to the command prompt and type the command python hyphen hyphen version and yeah so it says i have python 3.9.2 downloaded so we're good to go so once we have python set we can go to vs code open the folder open a folder and we can go to our desktop we can create a new folder here and um, i'm just gonna call this new folder flask demo so once you've created this folder you can select it and the folder and the environment has opened up inside visual studio code so now what we want to do is create a virtual environment so you can think of a virtual environment like an isolated environment on your machine that you're creating so that all your python all so all the files related to this project like html files python files configuration files installations dependencies are all stored in one containerized isolated environment into your machine so that it doesn't interfere with other projects and other system settings so it's really uh, useful when we it's really useful and really important that we have uh, whenever we're working in a project that we have a virtual environment set so we'll be going ahead and setting that up first so we we'll just need to press ctrl and tilde to launch the terminal and once we do that we can go ahead and type pip install virtual env so once we do that, it's going to install and it says requirement already satisfied since I have uh, since I already have it installed. So once we do that, we can uh, create a virtual environment and we'll just call it virtual. So the command is virtual env and then we need to name our virtual environment. We need to give it a name. So the standard convention is env. So we'll be, we'll be using that as well. And now that we have created a virtual environment, the next thing that we need to do is activate the environment or enter into it so what we'll be doing is we'll be writing the command env slash scripts slash activate dot bat and uh, so and as you all can see we have entered into our virtual environment here so just another note is that if you're on the mac if you're on mac os the command to activate your virtual environment is source space env slash bin slash activate so yes keep that in mind if you're on mac os and uh, yeah so then once we have everything in once we have once we have our virtual environment created and once you've entered into the environment we can perform our installation so we can just go ahead and write pip install flask and uh, yeah so the antivirus is just making some checks and uh, but this is this will barely take around 10 seconds and yeah, as you can see in the background here, Flask has been successfully installed with all the packages. So yeah, so that's great. So essentially what we want to do is make all our installations in this virtual environment so that it is separate from our machine. Yeah, so that's, so then yeah, so then we can see that it's been installed and yeah, so it's been successfully installed. So uh, once you've installed uh, Flask, what we want to do is we want to create our main uh, uh, app file. So we're just going to call it app.py and here we're just going to write the most basic flask application to sh to demonstrate how how we can get a quick flask application up and running so we can write um, uh, from flask import flask and uh, then we can just give it a name which is the name of the file app and uh, yeah once i've done that we can just write app equal to flask underscore name yeah so once that is set this is just setting up the application for us and then we can use the app decorator and create a, a create a route uh, so this route is the index route so this will be using this this index route is created so that when we launch our application we do not get a 404 error we get the content that we intended to so we can create this and then we can create a function to define what will be displayed so we do that and then we just return 
hello hello world yeah so once you've done that successfully we can uh, yeah so just a little more is that we need to write if underscore name equal to equal to this kind of and app dot run and we're just gonna set debug to true here so that um, we get to know the errors but uh, remember when you're in a when you launch a flask application into a production environment you always have to set debug to false so once we do that we can go ahead and launch our application by uh, typing in the command uh, flask run and uh, so again the antivirus is just making a check it's completely normal yeah so we can see in the background that it's running at localhost port 5000 so we can just go ahead and open port 5000 on a browser and make sure it displays hello world so once this check is complete we can just go over here and we can see hello world is successfully displayed here yeah so once we are once once that's done now what we want to do is we want to make sure this hello world is just coming from a html page we'll be exploring more static content and how we can go about that so we want to create a folder here called static and uh, no this is a file uh, we're just gonna go ahead and delete this and uh, we want to create a folder called static and um, and inside we want to create a new folder called CSS and uh, yeah so once we have that ready we can just um, yeah once we have that ready we can just create a new folder called templates not within this uh, separately we can just create a new folder called templates and we can have a new file inside that called index.html so once index.html has been created we can uh, what we can do is that we can just write some boilerplate html and let's just change this to flask application and uh, yeah and we can just have h1 here that just displays hello world but we want to make sure that the hello world is coming from a template so we're just going to write hello world this is from the template yeah so we can go ahead and save this and we want to just add a little css so we can just go ahead here and we're going to create a file just called index.css we can write basic css here let's just say font style is italic and let's just give font family as times new roman great so this is set the HTML is set and we can just link this so we just got to make a few changes here we have to import render underscore template and uh, then we also have to import url underscore fall to, to link the CSS file to the HTML file so once we've done that once we've done that we just need to change this render underscore template index.html and we are done with the app.py file so once we're done with this we can just go ahead to this page and we can just write the link command here the link tag sorry we can just write the link tag here and we can just say uh, link link rel style sheet href and now here we're going to be using jinja syntax so jinja jinja syntax is uh, just a template language that's used in flask to render uh, content back to the HTML file so we can just do URL underscore for the function that we had imported earlier and we can just write static here and then what we can then what we need to write is we need to give the file name so we need to give the file name as vi along with the directory so we need to give the file name CSS slash index dot CSS and uh, we should be good to go so yeah we just need to shut this yeah so once this is done the html should have been the css should have applied to the html file let's run it and check 
yeah so we can see that it has been italicized and it's times new roman so i hope this video gave you all a clear explanation on how you can set up a basic flask application and uh, run the basic app and yeah so thanks a lot for watching and uh, please like the video and subscribe to the channel it really motivates me to put more content